tennis icon and commentator John McEnroe has never been afraid to speak his mind and this year he was very vocal in his views about Saudi Arabia's involvement in tennis as Saudi Arabia continues to stamp its authority on sport. Tennis legend John McEnroe made his stance on their influence very clear. In recent years the nation's public investment fund, HIF, has made significant investments in the likes of football, boxing, F1 and golf. Reports in recent months suggest the country now wants to have a bigger involvement in tennis. And the seven-time Grand Slam champion does not think it's the right move for the game. It looked to me like the PGA were total hypocrites when they cut a deal after they've been fighting them, in my opinion, McEnroe said in June. At the same time the people that are complaining about it, a lot of the people are hypocrites because our government does business with them along with tons of other hedge funds, wealth funds, down the list, people that have dealings. What about Ronaldo? He's being paid a couple hundred million a year. They have been buying players in other sports, bought boxing fights, you name it. I'm not surprised. I wouldn't encourage it personally, the Saudi thing. I'm not surprised that tennis is being thrown into the mix after what we saw in golf. I don't think that's something that we should be pursuing, per se. It's not in my hands. Just five months after McEnroe's comments, the Saudi Arabian city of Jeddah hosted the 2023 Next General ATP Finals from late November into early December, which was won by Hamid Medjedovic. On December 27, the capital city of Riyadh will host an exhibition match between Novak Djokovic and Carlos Alcaraz, two giants of the game. Further reports suggested Saudi Arabia wants to host the 2024 WTA Finals, with negotiations supposedly at an advanced stage with both parties keen on agreeing to a multi-year deal. We are in discussions with various groups surrounding the 2024 WTA Finals and beyond and have not made any decisions at this time, a WTA spokesperson told Reuters. As with all WTA decisions, we are working closely with players and focused on continuing to build a strong future for women's tennis. The 2023 WTA season-ending championships took place in Cancun. It was subject to plenty of criticism due to the scheduling and late decision to host the event in the Mexican city. Several players involved, including winner Iga Swiatek, voiced their frustrations over the organization. The state of the court, and the lack of fans in the stadium. These things were exacerbated by extremely windy conditions wreaking havoc throughout the tournament. As the WTA continues to search for a venue for next year's event and with Saudi Arabia in the running, tennis legend Chris Evert voiced her displeasure with the sport accepting Saudi Arabia's money. I think it's sports washing, said the 18-time Grand Slam singles champion. I don't think we need to go there. One player who is happy with the nation's influence in tennis is Nick Kyrgios who claimed he would waste no time leaving the ATP tour if a breakaway tour funded by Saudi Arabia came about. I would have been the first one to jump off. I would have gone. I would have just let the ATP ship sink, the 2022 Wimbledon finalist said.